Hey guys, Paul here. Reading temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius and humidity on the 1602 two-line LCD screen. Getting data through the DHT11 temperature humidity sensor and processed through the Uno R3 microcontroller powered through six double A's in series equaling just under nine volts. I'll walk you through the hardware connections first and then review the code. The DHT11 has three outputs voltage, ground, and data. The data is the orange cable here going into digital pin 2 on your microcontroller. Now for my 1602 um, two-line LCD screen, I've got four lines coming out of that. You can see, see instead of 16, and you get that by, I'll show you on the back here, I'm piggybacking the serial port module here. It's got a potentiometer to adjust the contrast on your LCD screen, and that has four outs, voltage, ground, SDA, and SCL. And those last two go into A4 and A5 on analog, respectively. I'm posting a link to this code in the description below. The link goes to a GitHub gist. You're going to need the Liquid Crystal I2C library. If you don't have that in your current version of Arduino, you can find that the link provided in the code. And there's some another library, the wire library is used to communicate with sensors as well as the DHT pin um, and DHT libraries. You're going to include those as well. Those, so that's what number one in green pertains to. The arrow is showing the address, the I2C address. It's probably going to be 0x27. To find your I2C address, you run the I2C scanner, and I'll put a link to that below too. That's an Arduino um, code that you can run to find your I2C address, and you find that through your serial monitor when you've uploaded that code. And number two here in green pertains to the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. I've just defined a variable F for Fahrenheit and then done the conversion there. Integrating the DHT temp humidity sensor with your microcontroller and the 1602 LCD screen is a lot of fun. Subscribe to my channel. There's more coming up. And post links to what you're working on in the comments section. And we'll check it out. See you soon, guys.